Rounds of creation, an exchange of love for those creatures we call animals. The first reading is taken from the Book of Heaven, Volume 17, May 21, 1925. Jesus was teaching Louisa the following. My daughter, come to do your rounds in my will. See, my will is one, but it flows as though divided in all created things, something that is undesired. Look at the stars, the azure sky, the sun, the moon, the plants, the flowers, the fruits, the fields, the earth, the sea, everything and everyone. In each thing there is an act of my will, and it has continued to conserve this same act in each created thing. My will does not want to remain alone in its acts, but wants the company and exchange of your acts. Therefore I have put you in my will, so that you may accompany my acts, and together with my will you will want what I want. Let the stars shine, let the sun fill the earth with light, let the plants flower, let the fields remain verdant, and let the birds sing, let the sea murmur, let the fish dart, summarily that you will what I want. And so my will shall no longer feel alone any more in created things, but will feel the company of your acts. Therefore, go around for each created thing and constitute yourself an act for each act of my will. This is to live in my will. Never leave your creator alone. Admire all his works and give the little acts of the creature to his divine acts. The Prayer Our Lady, Queen of Creation, Please come and help me in offering God an exchange of love for the love he has put in all the animals he has created for us. Luisa tells me that the divine will remains dissatisfied if a creature who lives in it does not acknowledge all of its acts, nor discover in everything all that the little I love you of the God who loves it so much had wrought. Therefore, Come, help me satisfy our good God in all the animals. Eternal Majesty, I come to your feet in the name of all the human family, from the first and to the last man, of the past, present and future generations, to adore you profoundly. At your most holy feet I want to seal the adoration of everyone. I come to recognize you in the name of everyone as the absolute creator and ruler of everything, to love you for each and every one, to give you a return of love for everyone, for all the many varieties of creatures found in that part of creation we call the animal kingdom. In the animals of the earth you have placed so much love for man that no one can find sufficient love to return your love except by entering your holy will. Therefore, I choose to come into your will, and finding your own immense and infinite love, I now begin to offer my return. We can divide the kingdom of animals into two major divisions, the vertebrates and the invertebrates. The division of invertebrates contains 11 different groups of animals. The first group is the tiny, single-celled protozoans. I place my I love you, I worship you, I adore you, I honor you, I glorify you and I thank you on all protozoans, including all amoebias, ciliates, flagellates and sporozoa. Some of these tiny animals help form the mass of small animals and plants in the sea called plankton which are an important source of food for other sea animals. Some cause disease in which you share a portion of the cross with man. Others with their skeleton remains have formed the white cliffs of Dover and the limestone used for the Egyptian pyramids. I love you and give you glory in all these things. The second group of invertebrates is the peripheras or sponges. I love and thank you, I worship you, I adore you, I honor you, I admire you in these creations. I love and thank you in every use of the sponge by man through the centuries. And the third group is the soelenterates. These animals also have nerve cells. 
And I place my I love you, I thank you, I worship you, I glorify you, I honor you, and I praise you in all these sea anemones, hydra, jellyfish, and corals that belong to this group. The fourth, the fifth, and the sixth groups are all worms, the parthalamines, nematodes, and annelida. Some of these even bring diseases. And I ask you, dear Lord, that you use them only for bringing correction, to give grace, strength, and knowledge of the good you intend to those who suffer for them and free your people from them. I put my I love you, I thank you, I honor you, I worship you, and I glorify you for all the good earthworms that do for our gardens and for the fishermen that use them, for the good that the leeches do in the medical field, and for all the variety of lead worms, round worms, and ring divided worms. I love and adore you in the Rotiferas, the seventh group, which are tiny like protozoans, but far more complex, and in Bryozoas, the eighth group, which are often called moss animals, as they look like seaweeds or mosses. The ninth group is the mollusks, and include all snails, slugs, whelks, limpets, oysters, scallops, clams, mussels, octopuses, squids, and cuttlefish. In all these, I love you, I adore you, I worship you, I honor, I thank you. In all these animals are and do. Thank you for the food many of them are to man and also for the beautiful pearls produced by the oysters. The tenth group is the echinoderms. And I place my I love you, I adore you, I worship you, I glorify you, I honor you, and I thank you on every animal it includes. All the sea urchins, starfish, feather stars, sea lilies, brittle stars, and sea cucumbers. The eleventh and final group of invertebrates is the arthropods, which can be broken into four types. The first is the crustaceans, as lobsters, crabs, crayfish, barnacles, woodlice, water fleas, and shrimp. The second is the arcanids, including spiders, ticks, scorpions, and mites. The third is the myriapods, which include millipedes and centipedes. And the fourth is the insects, of which there are over 850,000 named species, some of which are moths, butterflies, beetles, bees, grasshoppers, crickets, dragonflies, and many more. I love and thank you for their beauty, the meals we make out of shrimps, lobsters, crayfish, and crabs. I thank you for the work the bees do in making us honey and pollinating plants. I ask you to diligently carry our crosses, and I ask you to help us to carry our crosses of the bites, stings, and other troubles some of them give to us. I love and adore you in all that the anthropods are and do. The division called vertebrates consists of six different groups of animals. The first group is the protochordates, which are tiny marine animals such as sea squirts and landslits. I love and thank you for them. The second group is piscus and consists of neofishes, which are kind of parasites such as lampreys and hagfish cartilaginous fishes such as rays, skates and sharks, and bony fishes including salmon, piranha, anglerfish, tuna, sturgeon, angelfish, carp, catfish, Siamese fighting fish, trout, eels, and countless others. I want to love and adore you, thank you, worship you and glorify you in all the many varieties of piskis, in all that they are and do. I especially love you in the food that lampreys, salmon, catfish, tuna, and many others provide for man. In the migrating salmon, sturgeon, and eels that remarkably swim hundreds of miles and more to return to their place of birth, spawning, and symbolize the effort man should make to return to God, his origin. I thank you, I worship you, I honor you, I glorify you in the striking beauty of the angelfish and other tropical fish, and in the work of the anglerfish, fishing for a meal. The third group of vertebrates is the amphibians. I put my I love you, I adore you, I worship you, I honor you, and I thank you on them all. They include frogs, toads, newts, salamanders, and Sicilians. I love and adore you in the eggs that they lay in the water, and the tadpoles hatching from those eggs, 
In the metamorphosis, the tadpoles go through to become adults, enabling them to leave the water. I also love you in the croaking of the frogs. The fourth group is the reptiles and includes tortoises, turtles, lizards, snakes, crocodiles, alligators and all ancient dinosaurs. I place my I love you, I worship you, I adore you, I admire you, I honor you, I worship you, I thank you. On the slow movement of the tortoise, the changing colors of the chameleon, the high-pitched buzz of the rattlesnake warning off enemies, the crocodile bask in the warmest sun, and in all else the reptiles do. The apes or birds are the fifth group of vertebrates. This group is broken into many different smaller groups called orders according to certain characteristics they have in common with each other. The order called Passionaries is the largest order and consists of perching birds. I love you, Holy Trinity, praise you, adore you, worship you, and I thank you. In the robins, crows, larks, swallows, cardinals, and all other birds of this order. Many in this order are songbirds, therefore I put my I love you, I thank you, I honor you, I worship you, I glorify you on every note of their beautiful songs. I love you in the bright colors of the large beak of the toucan and in the pecking of the woodpecker which both belong to the order called Pikiforms. I love you in the psittatic forms, which include all parrots, bad cherrygurs, and cockatoos. I love you in their work of cracking nuts with their beaks, you specially designed for this, and in the words that some can be taught to speak. I praise you, I love you, I thank you in their intelligence and beauty. The birds of prey come from several different orders. I love you in the lofty flights of the eagles and hawks, in their great vision, in their strength and courage, in the acrobatic flights of the seagulls, in the hood of the owls, in their night vision, in the falcons, albatross, ospreys, conners, vultures, and all other birds of prey. I thank you, I praise you, I honor you, I love you, and I thank you for them. The order called galliforms includes turkeys, pheasants, grouse, patridges, quail and peacocks. I put my I love you, I thank you, I honor you, I worship you, I love you, I adore you on each one of them, thanking you for the food they may provide men, but also for their beauty and for their joy of life. There are several orders of non-flying birds, and I love you in them all. I praise you, I honor you, I worship you, I glorify you, and I thank you in the chickens, which supply us with eggs and meat. I love you in the fast-running ostriches, the tallest of birds, in the penguins who fly only underwater, the kiwi birds of New Zealand, and in the now extinct dodos. I love you in all other non-flying birds. Some of them migrate, including ducks, geese, swallows, cuckoos, swifts, and arctic terns. I put my I love you, I worship you, I praise you, I adore you, I glorify you in all of their lives and all their migrating flights. I love you, I praise you, I love you, I worship you, I adore you, I thank you in every individual bird, in all that they are and do, in every place and at all times. I love you, I adore you, I worship you. The final group of vertebrates is the mammals. There are 14 different orders of mammals. The first is the monotremes, consisting of the spiny anterior and the famous duck-built platypus. I love you in them and in all they do. The second is marsupials. I put my I love you, I adore you, I worship you, I honor you, I bless you and I love you. On the cute koalas, the Tasmanian devils, the bounding kangaroos and wallabies, the wombats, the possum, and all other marsupials. The third, fourth, and fifth orders of mammals are the armadillos, the sloth, and the anteaters. I put my I love you on the bony plates of defense you gave the armadillos, on the sloth hanging in the trees, and on every bite of ants enjoyed by the anteaters. The sixth order is the Lagomorphs, 
which are rabbits, hares and pikas. I love you in each one of them, and I place a special I love you. I praise you, I thank you, honor you in the big ears and powerful hind legs of the rabbits and hares. The rodents are the seventh order, having more species than any order of mammals. I love you, I worship you, I honor you, I praise you, I glorify you, I worship you and I thank you in each one of their individuals. In the beavers building their dams, the squirrels chasing each other through the trees, even the rats crawling through the sewers. I love you and adore you in the guinea pigs, in the mice, porcupines, gerbils, chinchillas, lemmings and all other rodents. The eighth order is the bats. I place my I love you on their supersonic squeaks which allow them to fly by sonar and on all they are and to do. I praise you, I love you and I honor you and worship you in each one of them. The ninth order is the primates including lemurs, bush babies, lorises, monkeys, baboons, gorillas, orangutans and chimpanzees. I love and adore you, worship you, glorify, honor and thank you in the monkeys swinging in the branches of trees, in the strength of the orangutans and chimpanzees, in the intelligence of the chimps and all that primates do. The insectivores are the tenth order. In the moles burrowing underground, in the hedgehogs rolling into a pricky ball of protection, in the helpful shrew eating those insects bothersome to man in all insectivores, I place my I love you, I thank you, I worship you, I praise you, I glorify you in all of their lives. The eleventh order is sea mammals. I love you in the spouting of the whales and the porpoises playing with the wakes of ships, in the seals, walruses, sea lions, dolphins, mantis, dungeons and all sea mammals. I thank you for each individual. I thank you for their lives and all that they do. I praise you, I love you, I glorify and I worship for all of their lives and for the joy they give to men. The twelfth order of mammals is the carnivores. I love and adore you, I praise you, I worship you, I admire you, I honor you and I thank you in the roar of the lions, the mirror of the common house cats, the howl of the coyotes and the bark of the dogs. I love you and the polar bears and brown bears raccoons and pandas, tigers and leopards, minks and weasels, badgers and skunks, otters and martens and all other carnivores. I thank you for all of their lives. I praise you in all of them individually. The ungulates are the 13th order and are split into two groups called odd-toed ungulates and even-toed ungulates. I love you in the rhinos, tapirs, zebras, horses, donkeys and mules, which comprise the odd-toed ungulates. I thank you for each one of them. I praise you, I glorify you, I worship you for them. I especially love you and thank you for the help horses and donkeys and mules you have given to men for working and traveling in every age. I thank you, I worship you, I honor you, I glorify you and I praise you for each one of them and also for those who live in the wilderness in the same way. I place my I love you on all even-toed ungulates including boars, pigs, hippos, antelopes, impalas, gazelles, deer, elk, reindeer, giraffes, okapi, bison, buffaloes, sheep, goats, cattle and yaks. I love and thank you for the meat we get from many of these animals and for the milk and wool. I also thank you for each individual one of them. I praise you, I thank you, I honor you, I worship and glorify you for all the lives you intended to give to them and all the joys they were meant to have. Finally, the last order of mammals is the elephants. I love and adore you in their showering themselves with their trunks and the heavy loads they carry for men in all else they do. I praise you, I thank you, I love you, I worship you in each individual one of them. Supreme Majesty, I thank you, I love you, I praise you, I adore you, I worship you, I honor you and I love you, I love you, I love you. 
for every individual of the animal realm that you have created. I praise you in their birth, in their lives, in all their activities and in their death. I praise you in all they did for us humans. I praise you in all you have meant for them to enjoy. And I ask you to please fulfill their joys in heaven. Supreme Majesty, I prostrate myself before you. As your little child, I climb upon your paternal knees to offer you, together with Our Lady, Queen of all creation, this return of love, made in the name of everyone, for all the love you have put into the creatures belonging to the animal kingdom. With this offering, we ardently implore you to make your will descend and reign on earth in every one and in every animal. For then, as is said in Isaiah 11.6, The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the sheep shall abide together, and a little child shall lead them. Lord, let your kingdom come, let your peace rule in everyone's heart. Yes, all creation will return to its pristine order and beauty, and man will give you perfect glory. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Viat voluntas tua. Amen.